A long lost son, a tale of adventure, a butcher with a story. 1898, Paddington, England. Thousands attend the funeral of the penniless pauper named Tom Castro. But many people questioned who, in fact, was being buried that day. 40 years earlier, a young Sir Roger Tichborne is in love with his cousin. And his family doesn't approve. But I love her! I won't allow it! Forbidden to marry his beloved, Sir Roger Tichborne runs away, leaving an entire life of privilege behind. He travels across Europe, then heads for South America, destined for New York. But on the way, the ship and all on board are lost at sea. His mother, Lady Henriette Tichborne, refused to believe he had died. She sought the return of her son and heir to the Tichborne estate. Twelve years later, an unlikely breakthrough from far Australia. Thomas Castro, a butcher from Wagga Wagga, visits his local solicitor's office claiming to know all about the missing man because he is Sir Roger Tichborne and he's ready to return to his family. How did you survive the shipwreck, good sir? Tom Castro tells of how a passing ship saved him from a most certain death. Hearing this story and after further questioning, people are convinced you are duty bound, sir, to return to your family. Returning to England, Tom Castro is welcomed by his mother without question. He reclaims the title of Sir Roger Tichborne. But others in the Tichborne family are suspicious of the butcher turned baron. Some think he's lost his slight French accent and is missing a tattoo that people swear he had. Critically, his memory is sketchy on events from the past. Uh, a memory lost from the shipwreck. While Sir Roger adapts back to his old life, an investigator journeys to Australia to interrogate his story. Meanwhile, Lady Henriette Tichborne dies in her sleep, and with her passing, he has lost his biggest advocate, the mother who identified him as her son. Then, word from Australia suggests Tom Castro was not Sir Roger but instead a simple London butcher who had fled to Chile before ending up in Australia. His journey was similar to Sir Roger, but he is charged with perjury as an imposter. No, all lies, I am Sir Roger Tichborne. The trials last 291 days. Hundreds of eyewitnesses are called. Some confirm and some reject his claim. But on the weight of the evidence, the jury reach a verdict. Wagga Wagga butcher Tom Castro is not Sir Roger Tichborne. He's found guilty of perjury and sentenced to 14 years prison. 11 years later, he's released on good behavior and joins a circus to tell his story of high adventure. He is famous. Many people still believe his story to be true. But despite all the fame, he dies a penniless pauper. Though strangely, buried under the same name he fought so hard to retain, Sir Roger Tichborne. <laughs>